the examination of that one, then you give yourself for the first time in your life to get a chance to go beyond the thoughts, to go beyond the I thought, to go beyond the ego, to go beyond this imaginary person who is needy, who is lonely, who is carry hate, anger, who gets cheated in life, who gets heartbroken, who is fearful, who thinks that she or he is going to die more than anything else, this me is so afraid that it's going to die. So it's going to do anything it can do to hang in their precious life because it's so frightened that its existence is going to end because it's identified with the body. It's identified. But this me does not even exist. It's non-existing. It's a false imagination. So that's why it's so important to focus on the heart. It's so important to bring your attention to the heart of awareness, where is only your being where it's silence. The journey from the heart, head to the heart, the migration from the head to the heart. Because I'll tell you something, just sharing it with you. The very source, I don't think I've ever shared this with you before, but this is probably the first time I'm sharing this with you because I feel like, you know, also you're ready to hear this. Most of you guys been with me for a long time. The source of the mind the, is really, the mind comes from the heart. So the I thought or, the origins from the, from the heart. That's where it pops out. So what you think is your mind and everything, it really originates from the heart. And then brain catch it, catch it, jumps to the brain, jumps up. So that's why when you're migrating and you're bringing your attention, you start questioning this and you're just diverting. You're forcing yourself to go here and to fall into the heart of awareness. It becomes silent. It becomes pure silence and it becomes very still because you have migrated from the mind into the heart. You've gone, you, you go back into the source and it's unexplainable. You can't explain it. There's no words for it. You all been touched by it. You know what I'm talking about. You've been touched by it. You go to these places that it's really vast. It's vast, it's pure, it's present, it's untouchable. And you've had like periods of time that it's eternal. And you're there, you have no fear, you have no sense of separation, you have you don't feel lonely. And you experience pure presence. Actually, the experiencer is not there. It's just is. And when you come out of it, that means your mind comes. Me comes back. A thought comes back. Okay? You come out of that place. Then the me, the I comes and says, wow, 
this was really amazing. Wow, I was gone. You know, you're looking back. I, and then I, you're telling yourself, oh my God, I have to tell Zarathustra about this because I was gone. I was gone. I was like one with everything. Okay. But when, you know, okay, so let's say it started it from this point. And it goes to this point. It's in this duration. In this duration, so you started to disappear from here to here. And you were gone for, let's say, half an hour, one hour. So up to here, there is a you. You disappear and the you appears back here. And then here, when that experience that is finished, you come, you come back and you say, you look back now, you look back at this and you say, oh wow, Zarathustra, I was one with existence. I was gone. But you couldn't say this during that time. During the time that you disappeared from here to here, in this period of time, you couldn't say, oh my God, I am gone. Because there is no you being able to say I'm gone. You're an, you, the, the me is not there. Does this make any sense? Let me know if you want me to explain it, you know, raise your hand or communicate with me because this is too juicy to miss on this part. This is really amazing. This is a good thing we're talking about. Because if you really pay attention, it's a very good time to get it and identify this part and recognize because this if you get this part, this is going to free you, free you as far as you realize phenomena of who you are and what is going on. And then when the I thought comes back, when your story, you come back with your memory, then you start to identify it that the one who comes back is not real. And you start giving it less and less importance. And what happens is you do your practice, you do your work, you start challenging this I, this me thought, this sense of you of being separated. You start challenging it regularly. 